this is an update from the Dorchester Luxury Condos construction site. This is in Intinda Chiwatule. I want to give you an update on the construction status as of today so that you can see the progress and be able to follow as we move on to the end of this project. Okay? So as you can see, we are setting up the ground beam. We have cast the ground beam on this side. This entire apartment is filled with ground beam. Just so you know, this is one apartment. So roughly speaking, this is one bedroom, self-contained, two bedrooms, self-contained, three bedrooms, self-contained, four bedrooms, self-contained. This is your living room. This is your dining. Half here is kitchen, kitchen here, and balcony at the back, okay? This is your elevator shaft. You're gonna have stairs from the back here, wrapping around the elevator. And then the other half from here going on up to the end is going to be for the second um, apartment on each floor, okay? <coughs> so we are setting up the elevator shaft. You can see the technician is here. This is exactly half. Let me stand at the center of the building. This is the center. So when you go to the back there, you have your kitchen area, kitchen area, and the back balcony where you have your washer dry etc this is the other half of the floor where you have the second uh, apartment okay so let's go and take a look and have some detail on this here i'm standing on the materials that we shall be using for the oversight slab this hardcore will be here and will be uh, set up flat in this area and then this aggregate We'll be on top and then we'll bring the concrete mix and we'll fill it up up to the level that I'm going to show you right now, okay? So let me come. So when you look at this here, you'll notice two things, okay? You have a lower level, inside lower level here, and then you have an outside higher level, okay? This higher level tallies exactly with this higher level and it goes across the entire slab for the entire uh, floor up to the very end on the other side, okay? So I'll bring it down here a bit so you can see that level that I'm talking about. Can you see it? So this level here ties into the level there and ties in across the whole floor. That's the slab level. So if you bring it down like this, you'll see that they match accurately. Do you see that? Do you see that? Accurately. And when you take it across like this, it matches accurately across the entire slab. You see that? That's how you know that something has been set up exceptionally well, okay? This is the slab level for the Dorchester Luxury Condos in Chihuahua. And uh, this is the ground beam setup. As you can see, the level that I'm talking about, you're going to see, you have to look on the inside here and here, okay? That's how you'll see that it touches up exactly. So if you look at this here, right here, and look across on the other one as well, you see that they tie in very well. See that? There you go. See that? There you go. So it's perfectly set up. This is our uh, beam, uh, the column there, you can see it. It has the excellent overlap right here right here right here overlap for the lower one and the upper one and this is also cast the overlap as you can see is cast into the beam on the ground beam so you have additional uh, additional strength built into this here see that very very well done very well done and of course you know this here has to follow one direction you know if they're following this side they all have to follow that side you know this is the way that the column is supposed to be set up okay so that looks very good i'll show you an example here another one just in case you thought this was a one-off i want you to see how they are set up look for these are 20 millimeter bars steel and tube one of the best companies in the country you can't go wrong with this okay so let's walk outside on the rain perimeter 
so you can see how it looks like okay so all this will be filled up it will be casting concrete and it will be a flat slab this is our parking level by the way so when your car comes when you come driving you'll be parking here and just so i can give you an idea of how the parking works okay so if you stand out here if we stand out here from this column to this column this is the width of the parking driveway so you have one car going here you have another car coming here this is the width of the driveway from here up to here okay so when the car comes it will park here it will park there it will park here here and all other places between this column and this column we have two car parkings let me show you that so you can see it so if the car comes in here and he wants to park here for example he will pull out from here to that column this section is the parking so you have one car here you have another car here you have a car here another car here and like i told you we have two car parking guaranteed for each apartment okay so i'm standing in the ground beam i'm standing in the parking area i'm standing in the oversight concrete this is how it looks okay so let's move on i'm standing in the kitchen right now this is our elevator shaft it looks very very beautiful you need to come and look at this here so you see where your money is being spent when you buy where your money is going this looks very very nice it is very very well done exceptionally well done okay of course we're still casting other columns and other this is a green wall for the second apartment that we're working on right now the seats have blues have cast okay it's very nice you have your overhang you have your overhang waiting to connect to the next columns okay we lined up the additional columns as well we are casting looking good that's a column kicks in bed. Set up right there. You see? It's very nice. I wanted to show you how the columns are lined up so that you can see how well this has been done. Okay. So you have to pay very close attention to what I'm going to show you right now. And we are looking at we're looking at this column right there. It looks like one column now because it's standing in mine. But if I go on the side, now you'll see that there are one, two, three columns in there. Uh, boss, stop at the record, I don't know what. Until the next one, thank you and bye-bye.